territoriorock.com Notas, entrevistas, comentarios, videoblogs, todo esto y mucho más en territoriorock.com And um, while I was working on my first songs during the production, Hubert was the drummer. And um, yeah, we did the first gigs also with a keyboarder and a bassist. Uh, but then after a while, we decided okay, maybe we're going on as a duo because uh, for us that made more sense. We were working together, we're creating the songs together, the yeah, production. Less complicated. Yeah. Just to have like only two people in a bus or in a, in a car, and we had the first gigs in, in yeah in, in Germany, for example, Hamburg or something, and we were just as a two piece, and it uh, yeah. Came. And it worked pretty well. Yeah. And then after a while, it was like okay, something like we need the bass. We need the The music on stage was was cool, was great, but there was still some part missing that that would would have made the music more concrete and more like, um, yeah, complete. Complete, yeah. So then we were thinking about okay, let's go for a bassist, and um, that was a moment for me. I met yeah. Astrid and Hubert, and at that moment it was true or clear. But that would be a part, part of this thing. We had some vanilla ice and we talked about it and it was a great yeah. day that day and after that the band was complete. So yeah. here we are. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I don't have to pay for, for food anymore or yeah. stuff, or, or drinks. Yeah. That's catering yeah. in, in, the, in the backstage. He drinks a lot That's of time. milk also and we provide him with that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and the musical influences um, I think all the three of us, we have different influences, we have a different background sometimes. So Hubert is more in the, I don't know, you're more the punk, rock... Uh, well, mm. I, I kind of like every kind of music, yeah. but I prefer a little bit more guitar, if you will. So. And for me, yeah. like Jack White or Raconteurs or now I listen to Mr. Bungle a lot or the new Public Enemy album I think it's very good very great and so yeah and for me um, most of the influences are based on some pop artists like Beyonce and uh, at the moment Dua Lipa is, uh, has a huge influence on my um, style but also from the beginnings for me it was always Katie Tunstall, singer-songwriter from Scotland um, and as well Jack White and the more the rock alternative style. Yeah, I listen to, to a different kind of music too. It's a lot of funk, old school funk, the parliament, funkadelic stuff, hardcore, punk also, yeah, crossover. Crossover bass player. In every way. <laughs> a crossover band. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in the evolution of She's a Woman, I think it changed to the better, of course. Because at the beginning you're kind of searching your sound. You you have to create your sound, you have to create how you will um, do your stage performance and stuff like that. So it's really an evolution, but I would say for the better. Also the thing that it turned out, okay, let's go just with the two of us. And then we realized, okay, no, we need a bass. It, it would be a better fit to have a bass um, 
and to be three people in the band and yeah I would say everything changed for the better I wouldn't I don't know any point which for me I would say like okay this is, this is now worse then I think we wouldn't sit here at that moment yeah, um, yeah I think so too the, the evolution was we started with like a five piece band and there was a lot of music going on so we had like this keyboard thing and the bass and, and some backing tracks uh, involved and it was a lot or too much and then we got more focused on the on the details in all the basics actually with drums and guitar and uh, now we focus on really what best for the music you know and uh, now we got uh, we got it all in, in the in the pocket if you will so this is like this is our setup now and we had to um, we had to get evolve to yeah. we had to get to that point and so now it's a natural thing that we uh, meet in the rehearsal room or here in uh, Astrid's home base and, and create something new and uh, we know exactly what we want to do or what we want to hear. So uh, yeah, we, at this point we have nothing worse to talk about. Yeah. So it's very uncomplicated and uh, it's a good process, I think. Yeah. No more words needed. <laughs> A comment on our current job, I mean, the job is being a musician, I guess. And yeah, I would say it's the best thing you can do. I mean, we all do what we love and um, yeah, that really makes you happy. Yeah. Being so, creative. No more words needed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the best thing. Yeah. Sorry. Even in, in these heavy times, corona times. Yeah, that's true. We, we all, hope for the best. Yeah, we're all working together. We, we're working on new songs and at the moment that's the thing that, that really keeps you happy. I would say, yeah, because it's a good feeling to create something new. <laughs> so by the way, we are all tested, so that's why we sit so oh, close. Yeah, true. So it's all fine. Yeah. Negative. <laughs> Negative. Negative. <laughs> so upcoming dates and streaming. There's nothing happened. We are working on the songs. We're um, producing new stuff. We are planning to release. Yeah, in 2021 so that's why we are more in the studio and don't have any upcoming dates but you have to stay tuned because uh, of the new songs that are coming up yeah um, if we know anything about rock and metal from Argentina I would say no to be honest I don't know any bands from Argentina in that genre yeah, we have to come over and check it out. Yeah. So that's the next step. That's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Mm, so due to the global pandemic, I would say it's, um, yeah, it hit worst on all the um, arts. So music, theater, anybody. Um, it's, yeah, that's really a bummer at the moment. You can't play live. You hadn't played live since March. Oh no, one show. We had one show with headphones. That was fun, but I mean that's not not the same. Not the same. same. Yeah. 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 We are not allowed to make some money. Yeah. By playing our instruments, so that's that sucks. Yeah. Strange times. Yeah. 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 So what is good and what is bad about the band? Um... Yeah, good is everything. Everything. Top notch. Yeah. Yeah. And bad? It's nothing. Yeah. Almost nothing. Yeah.
Except one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Actually. No, we're working really. We can talk about it if you want. We can yeah, now talk. Now, this is now. now the time. This is the moment. Not yeah. in front of Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have actually. There's always a good vibe. Yeah, but uh, we have to admit that we haven't had a really tight tour. Like, uh, at the most, we played four shows in a row, but we were not on tour uh, for a month or four months or for two months. Or so that's still, everything is good, yeah, but let's so see <laughs> we what talk will happen in, in, then. In two years yeah. or three again, so maybe there's something worse I'm gonna tell you. coming up. Yeah. I don't know. No more words needed. Because your fancy look alive. Okay, so thanks for having us. Thanks for this opportunity. Um, please make sure to follow us on social media and um, they will keep you updated with any upcoming news. Maybe we're coming to South America, Argentina next year. We're all Hope looking. So. Yeah, really yeah. would love to do that. And yeah, thanks also to Gustavo and his site territoryrock.com and we're all looking forward to meet you soon. Ciao. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.